Let me say this is the first video I am doing with the spectacular Miss Alachia's um, introduction to, that she made for me to my for my videos. She did such an awesome job, and I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys like it too. Um, okay, so I'm going to try out the products that I got at the mall the other day. And um, the first thing is that I've already done two things. I've already, um, oh, I've got some gunk in my corner of my eye, okay. <laughs> I've already um, used the Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller by Garnier. Can you see that? Okay. And I have put on the Makeup Forever HD um, High Definition Primer. I've put that on too. Okay, so. The first thing um, I wanted to try was my new makeup. I used it yesterday um, and I really loved it. It's the HD foundation, um, invisible cover foundation. My color is 118. I had a really good help with the color matching. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on in bits of my face, parts of my face, bits, parts. Um, it comes in a pump which I don't like that much. I would prefer to have it um, um, just a tipping bottle, but okay, I'll deal with it. <laughs> and then you take, I'm t using the um, um, Sephora Professional brush number 55, which is a foundation brush, and I'm gonna even it out all over my face. And then what I found yesterday is I was kind of unsure about how much of the foundation to use because um, like when you before you're used to a foundation it's better to start with small amounts and sort of add than to glop it on your face and have like a big cake um, that you have to remove because um, yeah because it's just like it's harder. Um, so I'm going to put just a little bit more around my cheeks and then um, spread it around a little bit more. Um, I really thought it looked great yesterday. I loved the wear of it and I felt like my face looked good all yesterday. So I'm so far really, really happy with what I bought. Okay, I'm gonna say that that's good. Um, I'm not gonna put powder on today because I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to powder. I don't know if I have the right powder. I can't ever be bothered to do powder, um, which is probably silly, but um, for now, that's it. Putting that away. Giving my brush a little wipe. And then, um, then I bought the um, white eyeliner for the corners of my eyes. It was actually really hard to remove after um, I had used it. This is the um, waterproof Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes white one. And I wanted to get waterproof because obviously I'm putting it in the corner of my eye and if you have allergies like me, or you have yeah, little things that go make your eyes water a lot if you cry easily or stuff like that, then um, it's good to have waterproof eyeliner because, um, yeah, it's <laughs> otherwise you won't be wearing it very long. But it was really hard to get off, so you can actually see still that I have some white eyeliner in there still from yesterday. I was um, a little unsure about um, how much of my eye to use it on and where to sort of put it. But from what I understand, you want to put it in the corners of your eye to brighten your eye. This is my understanding anyway. 
So I put it in the corners. And yesterday I thought it went on like incredibly easily and today I really don't think so. And I noticed that earlier today when I was sort of um, practicing with it. And so I'm not sure if maybe it was hotter yesterday and it was sort of melted a little or what, but I felt like it wasn't um, as easy to put on today as it was yesterday because yesterday I was really excited that it went on really easily because normally I don't like pencils very much to sort of drag around the corners of your eye a lot. Okay, so that's the white in there. I do think it brightens. You won't get sort of to see it compared to how I usually look until I put mascara on because I look really weird without mascara. Okay, so that was that. And then I also, um, if you watched my haul video, watched, um, bought the dark blue Makeup Forever Aqualiner um, liquid um, blue foundation for, no, not foundation, eyeliner. Um, apparently, blue eyeliner will make you look um, fresher than um, black eyeliner with Will. So I'm going to put that on. This came off really easily actually with eye makeup remover. So I was pleased with that. And because of the way my eyelids are, I actually have to sort of keep my eye um, sort of closed, um, sort of closed until I'm done because otherwise, um, see, if I close my eye and it's not dry, I get a little bit up there in my, on my eyelid. So I have to sort of try to keep my eye kind of closed until I think that the liquid eyeliner is dry, otherwise it will transfer to other parts of my eyelid, which I don't particularly like. And what something I can do while I'm waiting for that is to put on my mascara. Uh, my favorite mascara right now is Lancome's Hypnose Precious Cells. That's the one I'm using at the moment. And I really like it. I like the brush. I like the feel. And apparently it has conditioners built into it. So that's kind of nice. Or at least I think so. Because I'm actually really bad sometimes about taking off my makeup before I go to bed. I know that's horrible. But if you go to bed with um, mascara on... Um, and it doesn't have the, like, I feel like if it has the conditioning properties in there, that that's better for my, my eyelashes than not. <laughs> I know it's bad for them anyway, but, um, I, I don't know, I trick myself into thinking that's better than leaving bad mascara on there. I don't know. I'm also not too fussy about how my mascara turns out. <laughs> Maybe I should be more. I need to get like a comb or something. Um, I want to try this new mascara that um, Tiffany D on Makeup by Tiffany D um, suggested the other day. It has like a separating brush at the tip of the brush. And that sounds really fun. Okay, so what do we think? Do I look tons more awake than I normally do or not. Um, I'm not sure. Um, let me finish off with a little bit of lip gloss so you look at me the way I normally look. There we go. But I'm really happy with um, the eyeliner, the blue one, and I'm really happy with the foundation. Super happy. So um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that, <laughs> um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.